How can this huge balloon and this super long balloon possibly fit inside this tiny opening? Warning, do not try this at home. You could get burned. Let's start by seeing if some smaller balloons will fit in here first. Let's fill them up. If we try to push these in here, it doesn't work super well. Yep, <laughs> didn't work. Let's see if the atmosphere all around us in the whoosh bottle will do the work for us. We'll be using 91% isopropyl alcohol. Strike Anywhere matches. I'm gonna warm up the alcohol by lighting it first. This makes the reaction go faster. So what happens to the pressure when the whoosh bottle's on fire? Let me put this on top just to make sure you know what's happening. The fire gives us a pretty big hint and the sound. Let's try that again. Flies away. So what'd the pressure do? <laughs> Very high pressure. Shoots the air out of the bottle. When the fire's gone, the pressure goes way down. Check out that pressure change. Let me try that one again. See the pressure change? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh, we sprang a little leak. When the fire's gone, the pressure goes way down. So the atmosphere tries to crush and reduce the volume of the jug. And then sucks in the water. Or pushes in the water, really. Here's what's going on in the whoosh bottle. Basically, the alcohol and oxygen bang into each other faster when they heat up from the match. This causes them to react and release tons of energy we see as fire as well as carbon dioxide and water. The fire heats the inside, speeding up the gases so the pressure increases and air rushes out the top. When the fire stops, the pressure drops and air rushes in. Air rushing in brings in more oxygen to react with the alcohol, which we see occur in these awesome spurts. The reaction stops when either the alcohol is used up, too much carbon dioxide is present, or not enough oxygen enters the bottle. Now, let's put the balloons on the top of the whoosh bottle when that pressure goes way down and see if the atmosphere will do the work for us. Which balloons should we do first? Small ones, big ones, long ones? I think let's start with the small one first and then we'll work our way up. I soaked it in some water so it's slippery. <laughs> Partial success? Let's try it again. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we won't get any to get pushed in there by the atmosphere. Let's try again. Maybe those balloons are just too small. Try a bigger one. Nothing else that was extremely loud. <laughs> that, that startled me. I didn't expect that one bit. I mean, I, I should have expected it, but not at that moment. It was very startling. <laughs> now let's try a short, long balloon. We'll see if it goes. Think the atmosphere will push it in? <laughs> I got an idea. Let's try it again. I'm going to give it some space at each end and we'll see if that helps. 
If you're digging what the whoosh is pushing down, hit that like. We'll spread it to whoosh lovers everywhere. <laughs> If you're a science-loving nerd like moi, hit that subscribe and we'll do this again. Last one. Biggest one yet. <laughs> oh, the cleanup. Just so you're thinking, why do I have to use the air pump sometimes when the match won't light it? I don't add any alcohol, just pump in air. That might be all we get. I think I was too slow. <laughs> At least we went in the bottle. Hooray. Check out this video where we see if we can burn paper with water. Hi. <laughs>